It is a special announcement. Well, I, I think it is. I'm really delighted to announce the creation of a new award this evening. The IAAF World Athletics Heritage Plaque is a location-based recognition which links together and celebrates iconic and historic athletics competitions, careers, cities, and culture around the world. A uniquely designed plaque will be permanently and publicly displayed at a location closely associated with each recipient. On the same principle that London's famous blue plaque scheme celebrates notable people who have lived and worked in the British capital, the IAAF World Athletics Heritage Plaque has been established to recognize outstanding contributions to the worldwide history and development of athletics. The plaque can be awarded in five broad categories. The city, the competition, the legend, the landmark, and the culture. As such, this new award offers us the flexibility to honor locations across our multi-layered global sport. I'm pleased to announce that the first dozen locations will be the inaugural recipients of the IAAF World Heritage Plaque. Each location is directly associated with an athlete, and they are in chronological order. Emil Voigt, Great Britain, Manchester Harriers, and Athletics Club in Manchester, Eric Lemming, Sweden, Stockholm Olympic Stadium, Stockholm, Pavo Nomai, the Pavo Nomai Games and Stadium in Turku, Mildred Didrikson, Babe Didrikson, Zaharias, the Museum Beaumont in Texas, Chuai Nambu, Meiji Jingu Gayan Park in to Tokyo, the Olympic Park, Jesse Owens, Ferry Field, University of Michigan, Ann Arbor, Michigan. And Fanny Blankerskuhn, Fanny Blankerskuhn Games and Stadium uh, in Henglo. Emil Zatopek, the Golden Spike and Meski Stadium in Ostrava. Aldemar da Silva, Centro Esportivo e de Lazer Teete, Sao Paulo. Betty Cuthbert, the Sydney Cricket and Sports Ground Trust, Sydney, where I was at Christmas unveiling her statue. Abe Bekele, Abe Bekele Stadium in Addis Ababa, and Arena Shavinska, the Stadium Zawoski Imene in Bidgosh. There will be no point in us placing plaques on the wall of every Olympic stadium, which are already well-known landmarks. Instead, we're looking to highlight lesser-known locations associated with equally outstanding performances. Many of the stadium and the tracks which we have recognized tonight have already vanished, and some are currently changing use. These plaques will therefore be a permanent reminder of the incredible athletics deeds which took place at these locations. We wish to get sports fans directly involved with this project. Therefore, we're launching a public competition to design the heritage plaque. The prize for the winning design is a trip for two to the final weekend of the IAAF World Championships in Doha next year. This evening, we have opened a new dedicated mini section of the IAAF website. On its pages, you'll find details about how to enter the design competition and read all about the plaque project and the inaugural locations announced, which are pinpointed on the global map. The launch of this award is an exciting day for our sport as we link together the competitions, the personalities and the performances which have played such a notable role in the glorious history of our global sport. It is important for our sport's relevancy and popularity that we recognise and celebrate that rich legacy. Thank you very much for being with us this evening.